Graduated rot. That's the focus of tonight's angle. Since the anti-war protests of the late 60s and early 70s, college campuses have seen an explosion in the number of far-left student groups, often with socialist tenets or neo-Marxist origins. But these groups aren't the liberals of the old Berkeley free speech variety. They've gone from being anti-war and demanding First Amendment rights to being deeply anti-American and now passionately pro-terrorism. We will never capitulate to the colonizer, and we stand firm and steadfast in our people's right to resist. These events have only reaffirmed what every Palestinian knows deeply, that we will see a liberated Palestine within our lifetimes. The settler colony will fall. You guys are associating that Hamas is a terrorist organization. It's a resistance. It's a resistance movement, and we need to stand behind it. And that hatred continued today. Campuses across the city that saw the worst of 9-11 exploded in pro-Hamas demonstrations. And is all resistance uh, justified? In I believe so. So violent resistance, I would include? I think in this situation, yes. Now, what you just saw was parts of a rally at Hunter College in New York City. Now, it made me wonder a little bit about the school itself. I don't know much about Hunter College. So I looked up its mission statement online, where they claim to value learning in the liberal arts and sciences as a cornerstone of individual development and a vital foundation for a more just and inclusive society. Here's my question. Does this sound inclusive to you? By the way, Hunter College also tells parents and students it offers a rigorous educational experience that prepares students to become leaders and innovators in their communities and in the world. Wait, better leaders? You condemn violence is happening. I mean, you could see the news, you could see everything yourself. Yeah. It's not about opinion, it's about facts. And the right. facts are that Palestine is suffering. Like, Palestine deserves to be free. I mean, there's nothing more to say except for free Palestine. That's terrifying. Now, for years, Republicans simply rolled their eyes about all the nonsense on campuses, and Democrats pretended that it just didn't exist at all. But now, neither party can claim ignorance or pretend that the anti-Semitic disease is infestering there. This isn't just happening, by the way, in the Northeast schools. This was an exchange at UNC. My family, too, is out there with your guys, Hamas. Well, in 1948... Hamas are Palestinians, OK? All of us, Hamas, let him live, please! How did we get here? And what does this mean? Victor Davis Hanson, as usual, nails it saying the overt support for Hamas killers by the diversity, equity, and inclusion crowd on a lot of campuses exposes to Americans the real moral and intellectual rot in higher education. And remember, these groups wouldn't be as bold, certainly not as bold as they are, if they hadn't gotten recognition and at least tacit support from the ivory tower crowd. And I love how all these college presidents and deans are now trying to cover their tracks, rushing out statements, distancing themselves, from these pro-Hamas organizations on campus, but I'm not buying it for one minute. They've always known that these groups supported political violence. In 2020, the BLM riots, and now the savage killing by Hamas. University officials either agree with the anti-American supporters of violence, or they're just too afraid to challenge them. Meanwhile, corporate America and wealthy donors shower these universities with billions and billions of dollars. Philanthropic giving to higher ed increased by 12.5% last year to $59.5 billion. Three donations totaling $431 million went to Harvard in one recent year alone. That's from Michael Bloomberg, Bill Gates, and the UAE. Now, do the billionaires, at least the Americans, they, they want their money back? You know, they should, because in a way, they're complicit in the death of higher education. And now these woke institutions are graduating activists, incapable of critical thinking. Young people who revel in being perpetually enraged and aggrieved, they're all victims. There is only one solution. There is only one solution. 
I guess by the way they're thinking, this means that the babies burned and beheaded are savages as well. They don't even know what they're saying. They're just chanting mindlessly. But let's be clear. Universities aren't the only place in America where pro-Hamas propaganda is spread to a very receptive audience. A few nights ago in Dearborn, this was the founder of the Arab American News. We are not going to be intimidated by staying silent when they say Hamas is a terrorist organization. The fact it is not a terrorist organization. And we have to say to them, the terrorist is Benjamin Netanyahu and his government. Now, you listen closely, because this isn't a political debate. For the most hardcore, this is a debate about whether Jews should survive at all. They left a fire in our hearts that will burn that state until its demise. Let's be brutally honest here. Academia for decades has been a cesspool of anti-American and anti-Western hatred. Hatred of all things traditional. They stopped opposing voices from even speaking on campus. Yeah, that was that big threat Riley Gaines. They ridiculed and maligned family values, they distorted history, they politicized the study of every field, from literature even to economics. So it's not surprising that young people who've been taught lies for generations just reflexively repeat them and expect standing ovations, even though they're usually ungrammatical. Now, the time has come for everyone responsible for this, the administrators, the professors, the donors who pay for it all, to look into the mirror and realize that this this is your legacy. And act your, ask yourselves, isn't it now? Look around, time to change course? And that's the angle. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.